So if you've used a mobile device in the last year, two years, you've probably used voice search on Google or using Siri to help you find maybe a restaurant or a gas station or something, right? Okay, Google. Restaurants near me. I found a few restaurants near you. And the fact of the matter is, if you're a local business and you're not optimized for search engines to showcase your information to people, then you're not going to show up when they use this voice to search option. So in this video, we're going to talk about some of the things you need to know about voice search and search engine optimization. Stay tuned. Here we go. So it's been around for a while, voice search is actually a trend that is emerging and it's going to be super imperative for you to pay attention to with regards to SEO in the future. And if you're not following best practices for local search listing placement or local search engine submission, then you're probably not getting all of the benefit that you could as far as getting new traffic, new customers into either your business or your client's business. So let's talk about what you need to know about voice search. But before we get into that, you guys make sure to hit the subscribe button and that notification bell in the bottom right hand corner so that way you get updates to all of our free content, our free trainings, and everything we do here at Serial Entrepreneur. So guys, voice search has actually become so popular that actually about 50% of searches are projected to be done via voice search by the year 2020. Well, let's look at why. Number one, obviously because it's super convenient, right? Just to say something instead of having to text it. Number two is that the software is actually really, really advanced now, so it'll do auto correction for you it'll actually make sure that the search that you're going to put in is exactly what you're looking for. So it's just super easy to use and it makes the whole process faster. So businesses must understand how to actually rank for local search traffic when someone uses voice search. And the methods used are a little different than traditional SEO methods, but nothing too difficult, right? So let's look at those. The first thing you want to understand is that People are looking for local business information usually when they're doing a local voice search. So you need to make sure that all of your information is listed with search engines, listing sites, stuff like that. So remember, if you haven't seen my video on Vendasta, uh, then you'll want to check that out. Just go to my channel and type in, uh, you know, SEO platform, something like that. It'll be on the channel. Can't exactly remember right now. But that is where a listing management platform comes into play. And you're able to use those listing management platforms to go out to all of the hundreds of listing websites out there and update all of that business's information at one time. Also, you can go to search engines like Google, Yelp, Bing, and submit a business profile to those search engines so that way they have your local business information already indexed. Tip number two to making your brand ready is making sure that your website is optimized for mobile. And the reason why is because voice search is done on mobile. You can't do it from a desktop like we're sitting at right now. But I can do it from my mobile phone. I can probably even do it from my tablet. So if your website isn't mobile optimized, your website really isn't going to perform when it comes to local search anyways. Next is your page load speed. Search engines like Google actually do take that into account because if it takes long for your page to load, people are going to bounce off, right? So Google isn't going to want to suggest that page. Actually, as a matter of fact, most pages that load or that show that Google shows when someone does a voice search load at an average speed of 4.6 seconds, which is actually kind of on the high end. So as long as you're, you know, within one to two seconds, which most sites are, then your site is okay to go. And then number four is your long tail keyword target. Targeting. So what is a long tail keyword? Essentially, you have your broad keyword set, which could be something like real estate, right? But what would a long tail keyword be? Real estate for sale in Atlanta, Georgia. Why? Because that is very specific. Or where is the closest Dunkin' Donuts? Basically, long tail keywords target people who are typing in actual sentencing. So essentially, it's what natural language would sound like. It sounds like somebody asking a question to Google instead of, donut shop near me, it would sound like where is the nearest donut shop, 
right? So people are starting to get to use technology in a more conversational type of manner. Thus, you have to be able to write content on your website and submit content to search engines about your website and about your business that would relate to how people would search for your products or services. That being said, one of the most popular things or one of the most important things to SEO is really understanding keyword research. So if you don't understand keyword research or what I'm talking about, keyword densities or any of the things that go along with SEO and how keywords relate, then check out this video in the top right hand corner. And even if you do know some, I promise you there's some tidbits in that video that will train you or teach you something new about keyword targeting for SEO. Oh, and just one more reason to make sure you guys are optimizing your websites for voice search. 40% of adults use voice search at least once a day. So guys, really, it really comes down to, again, making sure your website is optimized for mobile, making sure that your business information is submitted to those search engines and to the listing websites, and then ultimately just including those keywords that people would use to search for a business product or service on your website and try to do it in a way that people would use conversationally. So really quickly, and this is just kind of a bonus for you guys if you're still around, check out this video on the top right hand corner and we're actually gonna show you how consumers use search engines to interact and find new brands or products or services online. But that's it for me guys, thank you so much for watching, I really do appreciate it. If this video helped you at all, do me a favor and leave a thumbs up right below this video so that way other people who are looking for information just like this can get access to it as well. Also, I'm actually curious, do you use voice voice search. If so, just write yes below. If you never use voice search, use no, I type it out. I like to type it out or write no, I type it out in the comments below. But that's it for me, guys. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that way you get updates to all of our free trainings, our giveaways, and everything like that that we do at Serial Entrepreneur. I will see you guys on the next video. And until then, Serial Entrepreneur out. Later. Scene one, take one. Though it's been a while, been a wound. <laughs> in the below this video, ugh. Jeez, let's do that over. Ready to start living the six-figure, work-wherever, be-your-own-boss lifestyle? Well, at Serial Entrepreneur Academy, we'll teach you how to use a laptop and internet to start your own social media and digital marketing agency. Get started with our free Facebook ads training. Links in the description below, guys. See you in the course. Serial Entrepreneur out.